are we getting closer to the end of time? And the reason I'm saying that to you is because in Yellowstone National Park, we all know about the super volcano that's underneath the Yellowstone National Park area. So large of a vo underground volcano that if it was to erupt and explode, it would literally, literally wipe out North America. Well, something's going on up there. And you know, since the first of the year when the dead birds started falling out of the sky in BB, Arkansas, and then all the fish washed up on the shores of the Arkansas River, and then Chesapeake Bay, and then Brazil, and New Zealand, and Venezuela, and the blackbirds started falling in Texas, and Louisiana, and Kentucky, and California, and Sweden, and Ireland, and, and, and Australia, and different parts of the world. When these birds, and then the cows, when they started pitching over dead, people started really getting concerned. And that's why the Time Magazine article was written about me back in January. Well, I'm here today to tell you there's more pertinent information, very, very powerful information. Yellowstone National Park. The Bible says in Hosea chapter 4, verses 1 through 3, that in these last days, the Bible basically says the prophet Hosea prophesies because there's no truth, there's no mercy, there's no knowledge of God in the land. He said, because of your swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, God has a controversy with the land. He said, the land is going to mourn. The land is going to languish. The, that's right. It says that the beasts of the field are going to die. The fowls of heaven are going to fall from the sky. The fish of the sea are going to be taken away. The land is going to languish. The land is going to mourn. We're seeing it. Starvation is causing 7,000 buffaloes to die in Vietnam in one day. 10,000 cattle in Vietnam, South Korea, Laos, and Cambodia. Now we have 2,400 dead bison in Yellowstone National Park. Let me read this to you. This is an article. It's called from the Jackson Hole Daily. You can find it online if you want. And uh, quickly... Uh, Yellowstone officials say that more than half of the park's 4,700 bison have died. What? Are you serious? Are you saying that half the bison in Yellowstone National Park are dead? Yes. They just died. They died. Now, they didn't die like in one single moment. It was over a period of about 90 days, but half the bison? I mean, you got to understand the significance of these animals, these birds, these fish languishing. The 7,000 eagles that died not far from there up there in Vancouver, Canada. Starving to death, they turned into vultures. They went and started eating the dead carcasses of rats and scraps and poisonous things right out of the landfill. And 7,000 bald eagles died in a 10-day period. Now we have... 2,400 bison up there in Yellowstone National Park. The Bible. Uh, let me just tell you what it says in the Bible. It says these days would come, and we're upon us. Now, the new estimate comes after recent aerial surveys that the wildlife managers used to revise estimates of the winter. During the winter kills, there was roughly 400 animals that had died. But since the winter, there's been another. 2,000 bison that have died due to starvation, due to lack of food, due to the park uh, realization that there's not uh, adequate food supply for the bison in Yellowstone. They've lost half of them. This is going on everywhere. I want to just say this. You might say, well, Paul, come on. This stuff happens all the day. Not, not in the numbers we're hearing. Not in the numbers. Not in the species. Not in the different places around the world. And here's the thing. I did an article on this last week, just a little short one. I think I did. I might have, might have just mentioned it. President Bill Clinton and his Clinton Global Initiative, and as well as Secretary Hillary Clinton and others, many experts, have said there is a major food shortage in the world. And in the next 90 days, in the next 90 days, we are going to come under severe pressure trying to find where we're going to get the food to feed the world. Are you serious? The, the world is hungry? The world's always been hungry, but not in the numbers like it is now. 24% of the entire world doesn't have clean drinking water. The fish are dying. Radiation is in the air. Radiation's in the sea. Radiation's in the land. Japan is languishing. 
North America has beginning to languish. That's what's happening. The Mississippi rivers have overflowed and, and just swallowing up towns and suburbs and villages all along the Mississippi and Ohio rivers. It's the highest of Mississippi's been since 1937. There's many that are afraid that the, the, the Madrid fault line will literally break and the largest earthquake in the history of North America could happen. And would that then trigger the Yellowstone National Park volcano to erupt? Are these the growing pains? Are these the warning signs? Are we coming closer to the end as it says in Matthew 24? It says there will be wars and rumors of wars. Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Are we living in that day when men hate each other? When men's hearts will fail them for fear that will come upon them? And because, of love, because iniquity abound, the love of many will wax cold? Are we living in a faithless and adulterous generation? Sin-filled, murderous hatred on every side, with 12 nations in the Middle East rioting, overthrowing their leaders. Syria just last night running through, killing killing hundreds of people and arresting hundreds of people from fresh raids through the neighborhoods of Damascus. Is the Bible going to fulfill its prophecy in Isaiah 17, 1, when it says the city of Damascus will no longer be, but will become a ruinous heap? Has the Isaiah prophecy of chapter 19, verses 1 through 4, of the fall of Egypt? I told you about the eight idols that were stolen in Cairo, right out of the, the uh, museum there, uh, from King Tut's artifacts. Eight idols, three were recovered. Well, they've recovered two more of them. They recovered two more of them. But there's still three more out there. And these were idols that they worshipped. The Bible says that in the last days that the Egyptians will turn back to the soothsayers, to the charmers, to the wizards, and worship the idols. Are we in this day? Are you saved? You see, we can joke around and I could say, are you serious? But unless you get born again, time is going to run out. I'm Paul Begley. I want you to give your heart to the Lord. I, I don't want you to die lost. Why are the bison dying? Why did the fish die? Why are the people dying now? I'm Paul Begley. The tornadoes have hit the South. America. Need to pray. If you're not saved, send me a personal message right here on YouTube to Paul Begley. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Right here on this channel, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to pray with you today. Let's make today the day of salvation for you. In Jesus' name.